Hey everybody, it's me, Sean. Welcome back to uh, Britannia Total War or whatever. What's the name of this game? I've already forgotten the name of this game. But you know what? It's in the title or the video description. It's Total War Britannia as far as I'm concerned. Um, and we are trying to take over Ireland. I thought we might get attacked in between turns, so I didn't want to miss anything. Oh, look at this. Bay Ben is offered for Aramon. And, hmm, uh, one of your subjects has recently become infatuated, wished to marry as intended. Should their union be allowed? Well, why wouldn't they be allowed? I guess if I wanted to lower his influence. This woman is demanding, uh, huh. So he gains influence, he gains zeal, but he loses loyalty. Ooh, I don't like that very much. He is pretty loyal, though. Hmm. Well, I don't want to... Oh, would that lower my influence? Oh, well, I definitely don't want that because my influence has already been lowered. So we'll let him get married. I'm not thrilled that he's going to lose loyalty for that over that, though. Um, armies, provinces, factions. Great. Okay. So, uh, very happy. Hopefully it's growing quickly. Oh, yeah. And we can see other provinces. That's like neighboring provinces and whatnot. That's not really all that important. So, let's get this guy, I guess, back to here to Canaanas. And we are waiting for uh, economic development in our area. So... We're not really going to do much of anything. Do I want to maybe try to recruit? Yeah, this guy is slowly filling up. Let's recruit a... So they've got a spearman and a swordsman. So we can recruit an, or a surf archer. Or is this the javelin? Oh. You know what? Let's try getting an archer in there. Sounds good to me. And we could get an Axeman, or a Skirmisher, or a Skirmisher Cavalry. No. Oh, melee? Yeah, we can't afford that one. Uh, we'll stick with... Actually, I kind of wouldn't mind getting an Axeman as well. Let's go ahead and get an Axeman also. There you go. Great. Okay, so we're going to recruit those. Close this panel. We've got 126 gold left. We will close it out for the winter. See if we get attacked or anything. Uh, in the last episode, I decided I was going to try to uh, do a little uh, turtling here while we build up our economy before we get started. We will see how that works out. Oh, look at this. Some, some sneaky guy sneaking into our territory. Who are you? And why are you getting into my territory? Uh, it looks like land... Is that who died? Land? Um, all right. I'm not sure who that is. Our cats are reporting a small raiding party from Wincing has been seen approaching Britannia from the south. Hmm. Okay. Um, foreign trespass. Allegiance Briefni. Trespassing near Ardok. Briefni. So, is Briefni the one that we wanted to declare war on? They are, but we are, looks like we have a trade thing with them. Brief me. Hmm. Well, I do not like them creeping into my territory. Can I do something about it? They have, yeah, just like four guys. Can we reach them? Not quite, but we're gonna, we're gonna head over that way. I'm gonna stay on this side of the bridge. That way, if they do try to attack us, we can defend from this side of the bridge. I remember that worked really well in Total War other games. And these guys, they're going to stay down here and continue replenishing. Let's go ahead and end our turn. But hopefully they don't try to take over Ardach there. Because that is our, I don't know, whatever that thing provides us. Mine or farms or something. Not really any details on here. 
But I think since we're not at war, these guys, yeah, exactly. They're gonna they're gonna scamper off, cowards. All right, uh, that's just as well. And war declarations. Okay, a bunch of people are at war here, but none of them are us, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Yeah, well, we're going to go to war here soon, but we do want to finish our economic improvement. So one more turn until these are ready, and then we're going to start getting ready for war. So let's go ahead and skip to the next turn, and we'll let the scroll go by. Now, fortunately, you can't move the map or anything when it's going in between turns here. So we got to sit here and just look at what we're looking at. I guess I could zoom in next time or something, so... Uh, I mean, the game is really pretty. I like the... Your armies may vary their tactics by adopting different stances. Fortify your armies to allow them to replenish and... Uh -huh, sure, whatever. All right, so let's see what she's talking about. Stance, none. Um, cannot switch while they're in a settlement. Great, okay, so how about you? You could fortify or raid and we definitely don't want to raid our own province so okay All right, we're going to keep with the standard stance doesn't look like there's anything to worry about right now looks like we do have our new buildings online and uh, i think our happiness is up pretty good in this yep 15 um public order so that's really good and uh it doesn't seem like it uh, seems like that may have been unnecessary did did we uh, I think we got bonus growth from our public order hmm but we're gonna go ahead and return our taxes to normal level and um, yeah it should be fine so we'll make a little more money next time. And I don't know if our order will go up or go down or what, but we're going to just uh, leave it like it is. These guys don't need anybody else, but I'm going to want this army to go and probably creep up into here. Can I find out details about sell more? I cannot. But if I look on the strategic map, I can. So... Well, I could until I zoomed in, huh? So it looks like they have iron. Oh, you can still see it, but not really. So it looks like they have iron there in Selmore, and then in Brief, Briefni, they have a Great Hall. So only two territories in this one, so that should be a little easier to take over. I would much rather move in through this spot and then work my way over to Briefni. So yeah, let's do that. Let's get out of this map. We're going to have you head over there. I think I'm going to send this guy up to here in case they decide to counterattack. So you head to Ardach. And you here in Kananis. Sure. I don't really need that level of tutorial. And let's get you... You know, I really want additional swordsmen. wouldn't mind having a higher class of swordsmen. You know what? Let's get you some of these axemen. Can I rearrange your position? Does not look like I can. Whoa, hey. Let's try that again. There you go. Great. Ah, you rearrange your own position. Just fine. Good. Close. And end of turn. Oh, and I forgot to zoom in for a more interesting view. Oh, well. Uh, I guess we're going to need a couple of turns for um, these guys to replenish, while so we're not going to be able to invade right away. But I'm going to declare war as soon as we have our armies prepared. Uh-huh, okay, sure. Uh, the True Britons are still here. Maris has foolishly marched into Wales. Gwynedd rallies the Welsh faction to fight back against Mears. And that sounds like... Yeah. I don't care about that. Okay, who cares? There's stuff going on over in, in the British, in Britannia. 
But we're in Ireland, and I will turn my eyes eastward when the time comes, which probably won't be for quite some quite some time. So uh, looks like a bunch of people made peace. That's nice. We, on the other hand, are looking to make war. So we're going to um, we're going to uh, uh, let a couple of turns go by as we replenish our troops here and build up a little bit of cash. As a matter of fact, I think I might recruit another. Like one of these swordsmen. Great. Let's do that. And end of turn. Oh, I forgot to... Oh, good. This guy is moving into Ardach. Great. So he'll sit there. Help protect against any counterattacks from these jerks. And what is it? Winter time right now? So spring is probably a good time to attack. And we'll continue to replenish those new units as... The year moves on, right? I think it might be worth attacking now. These guys are pretty weak anyways. So let's do it. Let's send our king in here. We're gonna we're gonna capture Selmore. Oh yeah. Of course it's gonna lead to war. Let's do it. Declare war. Except War it is then indeed. Diplomacy has failed. These two factions are now at war. Um, we are going to occupy it. If we sacked it, we would get some money. But I don't want to sack it. I want to occupy it because it's going to be ours. Yeah. How many times do you need to mention that we're, uh, we're at war? All right. So uh, legitimacy, great. That's good. And we've captured this province, so I like that. We're going to uh, sit here for a little while. We're going to see if maybe he brings tries to reclaim this or something but we've got this other army down here meanwhile if he sends his guys we, we could maybe try to take their capital although I don't know because they probably are going to have um, a uh, defending force there so I think we'll just stick with what we have I've got 500 gold can I make any sort of improvement with that 500 I think everything's going to be too expensive yeah. Okay. No, nope, no improvements. We can use it to improve sell more. Now, who's this? And what are you doing in my territory? Is that my territory? It looks like he's outside my borders. All right. But he might be coming to poke his head in Clan Erard, which probably would be un good. Oh, see? He's coming to get me. Alright. Well, the bed bugs were destroyed. Anglo-Saxons and one of my... Oh, yeah, it's the new one I just took over. Anglo-Saxons and Northern Lord uh, declared war on Northumbria. It's fine. But, yeah, I'm sure Selmore is unhappy with me. Yeah. Negative... Um, uh, thing, but it should hopefully improve over time. Not much I can really do here to improve it. I can't. I don't want to spend any money on their mine or anything. Our bravery is legendary. Our bravery is legendary says Blemish. Alright. Here I want to find a good spot to defend. Armies will suffer losses when in wetlands. Okay, well, that's not what I wanted. What I wanted was to uh, maybe do a, set up an ambush. Is that what the little tree thing means? None shall stand against us. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I could just go attack this guy. But I think what I'd rather do is is make him choose to attack me. Oh. Is there no way to get over there? Okay, there is. Great. So, yeah. We're going to come over here to this side of the river. And then we'll cross the river next turn. And uh, attack him then. Uh, looks like we have another point to spend on this general. So we could gain a command point if we did champion. 
Everyone stops to here. So you get plus one zeal, plus five unit replenishment, and plus five production. You know what? I'm going to go ahead for that one, I think. Great. No. Um, how do I confirm that? Or do I? I don't want to replace the general. Oh, there's how I confirm it. Accept changes. Great. And did this guy have any points to spend or anything? Looks like he does. Great. Okay, so... Pillager, campaign movement range. You know what? I'm going to do that one. There you go. Good. And um, we're going to say that's good. I've got 1,100, but we're going to save up some money because we'll probably need it to, to pacify the people in this place. Let's see what this army does. They're probably going to try to attack us. Run through the various people. I've already forgot the name of the place we're attacking. We'll see it when they start moving their troops around. Maybe that troop is just going to stay there. Ah, oh, there, there they are. Brufni. And it looks like we've got a pretty balanced um, uh, battle here. So we're going to manually fight that. We've got 456 troops. They have 372 a couple archers and javelin men and then some spearmen. Hmm. I wonder why they have the I wonder why they're equal to us and we don't have any sort of advantage. You'd think we'd have a um, advantage, huh? All right. Well, time will tell. So, let's go ahead and fight it out. Let's see how this goes. Now they're attacking me, so that means I can defend. I always like having a good defensive battle. See what sort of terrain we have available to us. And we'll set up. Now, we're not really properly set up for defending, though, because we don't have, like, we only have the one ranged unit. Uh, but we're going to make the best that we can of it. And then, of course, regardless of how this battle works out, even if we do lose, uh, we have our other troops that are going to be able to come by and uh, destroy destroy what's left of their army after after ours is done. So doesn't look like there's any hills to defend from. Classic um, defensive tactic, I guess, would be to poke yourself in the corner and prevent yourself from getting surrounded. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and do that. I am not the best at this game, so I'll take advantage of what I can here. There we go. And then we'll set this guy like this. We will go ahead and we'll move these guys right here. Go ahead and start the battle. Turn the speed up. And let them come to us. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Johnny Basic Strategy. And it's going to take a little while. Enemy approaches. Yep, it's still going to take you a while to get here, enemy. Come down and take a look at our, our troops as they wait. Got our bowmen here. These guys are all popping, hopping around. They're so excited. Spears, swords, and axes. Might be smarter to actually... Um, I'm going to rearrange these guys a little bit, actually. We'll put you guys here. No, not you guys. Bowmen stay there. I want the swordsmen here. And I want the spearmen here. There we go. Yep, shift it up indeed. Alright. Let's let these guys approach us. And then we can have these guys kind of swing in and attack them. Oh, so these guys have a, uh, a radius effect. I'm not quite sure what that means. But actually, it might be smarter to leave them in the middle. Let's see if we can figure out what their radius effect is. Shield castle. Toggle guard mode. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's like a guard, their guard mode or something. Hmm. This will put your troops on the defensive, makes them hold their position. Huh. All right, well, you know what? We're gonna just just leave it like it is. You have... Nope, that's group controls. We don't have anybody grouped up right now. Alright, let's turn that speed up. Let these guys get closer. 
What do, what do they have over here? I mean, we already know what they have, but they're all a bunch of foot soldiers with their generals on horseback. So, a couple of spearmen. Are, do they have multiple ranged units? Are they all ranged units? Huh, okay, so I guess this uh, standing in a defensive position is not going to help so much because they're going to start um, attacking us with their ranged units as they get closer. But that's okay, we will run in and get them when they uh, when they try to do that. All right, looks like they're running at us now. Who's got the longest range? These guys do? All right, they are just about in range, so let's pause it. You guys move over here. You guys over here. You guys right here. All right, looks like their horses are coming towards us. This is axemen. Okay, so I want these spearmen to 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 like take the brunt of the horse attack, but these guys are all pretty much going to be under uh, under ranged attack right now. You guys get up closer to there. So axemen. And what are they doing? So they're just moving in to get us or something? Let's see what we can do. I imagine that they're going to have their guys run away from us, but maybe not. Alright, well we're not going to be able to get their horses, which is kind of what I was thinking we'd do, but Instead, we're going to just, like, sandwich in on these guys. You guys, stop uh, running away. Just attack. As a matter of fact, attack their generals, if you would. And you guys are heading towards these guys, right? It's fine with me. My, These are my uh, elite swordsmen, so they should be able to do pretty good damage there. Their generals are kind of just chilling. It's real smart. Let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit here. Up oh, there. Now their generals are coming in, getting involved. Let's, uh, I really want my spearmen to take on those horsemen. Not that that's really going to make much of a difference, but... Oh, really? Wow. I did not uh, I did not expect that. Can I rally them? Rally. I guess I shouldn't have had them attack the, attack the horses, huh? Oh, now they're attacking my generals. That's not good. Oh, I should not. Uh, don't pull away from these spearmen before they run away. Uh, why aren't you guys attacking? I'm trying to get you to attack. All right, spearmen. Oh, are you still involved in a battle? And you guys, get over here. Hmm. This is, I mean, the. Uh, this thing shows that we're still winning. But yeah, this is uh, this is not good. Ah, yeah, that's not going to go very well. So what do I have left? Yeah, you guys get over here. Get over here. Don't chase those guys down. And our bows are going to run away here. Get those horses. Uh, you guys are back? Um, no, they're not back yet. There we are. 
Actually, get these horses. Yeah. All right. So I think we're going to be able to pull this out. Maybe. Depends on what those horses do. Oh, our general fell. That's not good. Get him. Get him, guys. Who's left? Do we have anybody left? We've got our elite swordsmen. Well, they're not... I'm not feeling so great about that. And I don't think anybody's going to come back after our general died. But, you know, we'll still be able to attack with our primary army. And then we can move in and um, try to get the... Uh, now, that's the enemy, right? Well, that's not good. All right. Well, that's good. I like that. Look at that. The power thing is switched back to our side. Maybe these swordsmen can can win the day. If we can rout these spearmen, we'd still need to take out those archers. But so. All right. Now all we got to do is run down. Run down these. Uh, ha! Look at that. We won. Nice. That was a tough a tough one. Um, and not our finest hour. I mean, we lost a lot of units there. Um, but our heavy, our elite swordsmen really did well for us. And it's a shame to lose a general, but, you know, I mean, that, that it's going to happen sometimes. It was a close victory. We're going to head and go, actually, you know what? Let's take on the warriors there. We didn't really have the most elite troops anyways. It looks like we've lost two of our um, two of our units in that, so that's not so good. Um, but you know, I mean, it happens. All right. Um, the force needs leadership now that its commander's gone. Who will answer the call? So you can have this guy who's a negotiator, this guy who's a preacher, or this guy who has no. Or is this the one who's dead? View all traits. Okay, I think this is the one who's dead, right? So, I guess I'd probably rather have the negotiator. Let's. Oh. No, I I would like this guy. Oh no, this is this has got to be the one who's dead because he's got loyalty and all that stuff, and we don't know what these guys have. All right, this guy's younger. He's a negotiator. Let's do it. All right. Rumor has it this man is working against you and is about to make his next move. Oh, I don't want to lose influence, so I guess I have to pay him off? Well, no, that's me. Errormon. Is this the one I just, uh, uh, that was, uh... oh, I don't know. All right, that sucks. Okay, well, guys, uh, that is it for this episode. Um, I hope you are enjoying this. It was a tough battle, but we pulled out okay, and we basically destroyed what's left of their army, so it will make it uh, much easier for us to um, attack on the next episode. Oh, wow. I thought I'd be able to move a lot further. Must be because I had to cross that river. But... Um, uh, I should, we should be able to march into their capital before too long. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, be sure to click that like button, leave me a comment, and let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it, and I hope you will join me again next time. I'll see you then. Bye!